Fox in the era of President Joe Biden is a carousel of conspiracy theories and fear mongering. So really what I'm saying is not much has changed. But the Chirons, those headlines that you see at the bottom of your screen, they are getting noticeably more creative. Fox uses them to push their conspiracy theory that Biden is essentially senile. At least this one has the qualifier seems on it. The frail, the weak, the cognitively struggling, clearly commander in chief, or is he, did not do well today. Other Fox banners imply that Biden basically belongs in a home. And one of their main experts on this literally calls in from his retirement home in Florida. Another is this guy, the infamous Fox doc they have on to give a, quote, virtual medical examination. Then reaching the evidence-free conclusion that Biden is off his rocker pushes the conspiracy theory that he's a puppet of a deep state. See the question mark there. That's really just a fig leaf for a conspiracy theory. Like what? I didn't say it. I'm just asking a question. But this conspiracy theory isn't even trying to hide its identity. Yikes, question mark? No, just plain yikes. Fox reliably provides the public disservice of pandemic disinformation, and sometimes it uses pictures. Top health officials shown in straitjackets. These people caused needless deaths and helped fuel social unrest. One year into the pandemic, despite undeniable evidence that masks work, Fox's chief science officer, Mr. Carlson, suggests they're a national security risk with this screaming headline. When the new president marked one year of grief and loss, Fox got impatient, telling viewers Biden's taking too long. How dare the president not wrap up before the power hour of cockamamie commentary starts? They love culture wars, from Seuss and Cardi B to Mr. Potato Head, even extending the war on Christmas all the way to April by connecting the release of a rapper's Satan shoes to Easter. There's the broad, evidence-free declaration that the left is currently engaged in a race war, while Fox's actual war on cancel culture is in full swing, because cancel culture, they say, is destroying America. Unless, of course, it's Fox or a Fox ally doing the canceling, like calling for baseball, America's national pastime to get the boycott. Sometimes they wax poetic, editorializing via rhyme. Same topic, but editorializing with a simple verb and an adjective, leaving no doubt what side they are on, which in the case of this headline is on the side of increasing sperm counts, quote, America's real crisis, even though Mr. Carlson would later say this about the border crisis. This is becoming a crowded country, and crowded countries are ugly, unhappy countries. So falling sperm counts for a white-dominated America, very bad. But when brown people want to come in, too crowded, no room. We need it for the sperm. And sometimes they think they're lashing out, but actually they are just inadvertently telling the truth about themselves, admitting the damage that they wreak and the propaganda they peddle, like they're writing the autobiography of their network in 30 characters or fewer, give or take, that Fox is not news, no matter what it calls itself.